Full disclosure, this knife is brought to you by DK Knives. DK Knives has this knife in stock. It is the heretic uh, or heretic, which would be how I would choose to say it. Colossus. Colossus. Um, it's a very high quality OTF. If OTFs are your thing, uh, no matter what your thing is, check with DK. See if they got what you're looking for. Don Farmer's a great guy. He'll bend over backwards to see what he, you know, like to do whatever he can to help you out. If you find something you like, use the coupon code APEX10, get 10% off. It doesn't do anything for us, but it does do something for you. It, you know, it, it saves you 10%. So that's DNK Knives. Here's this guy's phone number. Here's this guy's email and his address and everything. So like, you know, freeze frame and stalk the shit out of Don Farmer, right? Okay. <clears throat> anyway. The heretic. Knives. That's Anthony Marfion's son, or Tony Marfion's son. So his name is Anthony Marfion as well. Him and his wife run this company. They're, uh, you know, like, it seems like they're seasoned in, in OTFs. I am not, like, OTFs are not my thing. I'm, you know, like, oh, inside the box. Oh, so this is like sorry. take two. Sorry, we've, uh, we, we recorded an entire video. And it wasn't recorded. It wasn't recorded. <laughs> you know, like, so, anyway, you get the, you get the slip. You get the lube. It's a very nice little cardboard box, but it, I mean, it is a nice box. It's its a nice thick construction and all that stuff. And uh, it's got a little bit of Velcro right here. You know, like, keep it shut. So anyway, what, what we got, what we got. So I'm, I'm not an OTF guy, like full disclosure, right? But you know, like we have one. We have one. It's a Boker Low Tech or something like that, and it's supposed to be made in the USA, but it's made out in, made in the USA by you know out of Chinese parts or something. I don't know. It's D two. Um, it was one I got Courtney for a holiday. Uh, we have handled some Micro Techs and Ultra Techs, uh, you know, and and other other brands, but I can't really remember them right now. They were cheaper brands. Uh, yeah, and, and Mr. Uh, Larry has let you handle those were UTXs as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, like this this knife, man. If you like big knives, but you don't like OTFs because they're generally smaller, the Colossus may be your your way into that. You know, uh, realm. Yeah, maybe a, maybe your ticket in. You know, to to finding an OTF that you like. As far as blade play goes, and I do know that you're supposed to have a little bit of blade play. In, in an OTF, like not a lot, but you, you're supposed to have some, and you do have some. We fired this thing possibly probably about a hundred times altogether, and I've never seen it fail. Unlike the Boker that will, like, yeah. you can't do 10 times in a row, no matter like what, and right. you're gonna get a fail out of it. Uh, the grip is super, yeah, It's like super, skateboard type yeah, grip. It is, it's like skateboard type grip, and it's awesome. And man, they're made in the USA. Tony Marfion and his wife, or Anthony Marfion and his wife. You know, like this, this, this blade's magna cut. You got a three and a half inch blade, or almost a three and a half inch. It's like three point three five uh, inch blade. And what's the matter? I was looking to see if it was in frame. Oh, okay. Uh, you got it's it's magna cut. You got an eight and a half inch overall in, so it's about the same size as a paramilitary two, roughly, or like a eighty ten or something like that. Um, just dressing my leather. Let me know if you like the leather. I like the leather. I, it's just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a, a leather kind of guy than this grid board stuff most of the time. But, and then Kelsey. And what else can we put up there? We got the, we got Allen's SMG. So, you know, it's it's a it's a full size knife, man. I mean, yeah. like to to you know, for most people, right. you know, it's it's not a ten inch knife or anything, but it is a would I, I think it would be considered a, a full size knife. Yeah, like there's still plenty of room in my hand. Courtney likes the OTFs. I do. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know, like, there may be a time whenever I start chasing them, but like as of right now, like it's just they they. They are almost zero inches, you know, uh, for me. I don't know what this little what thing is, this? is on the butt, man. It's a little, it's a little ball. ball rolls around. What is, is it just that? a fidget toy? That's what I'm calling it. 
Who knows? The, the only the only downside I have for for this knife is the bringing it back. It requires me to have two fingers. I can push it forward fine, but trying to come back, like just the the size of it or something, like I, I've got to get that other hand on there. It's not a Kershaw live wire, you know. I may, I may, you know, like turn some heads here, but like you know, the, like seriously, like the. Uh, with me not being an OTF guy and me not knowing exactly what is what when it comes to OTFs, and I don't, I'm just giving you an opinion on first impression. Uh, but like, I've handled one OTF that I was like, oh wow, that's smooth. You know, as smooth yeah. as butter, and that was the, that was the Kershaw Live Wire OTF. And like, to, I can't remember what steel it was in. I don't know about the materials. I definitely know it was it was less money than this, but I also definitely know that it was. Uh, you know, not the same caliber right. of, of OTF as this. Uh, but, man, this is nice. And, and really, I guess the important thing is if, when you need the knife, and you want it. If one of them's going to be hard, I'd rather it be the closing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm actually having more difficulty getting it out than I am uh, getting it in. I, I can do both with one hand, no problem. But, like, you know, like, I'm, I'm feeling more strain, and, you know, like... Uh, <laughs> but it's probably just the length of my thumb. Right. You know, but that's. That's I, what I'm figuring because like I, I can push just fine, but the pulling back is, is tough for me. Right. The pocket clip is as deep as it gets and it attaches up here with, you know, uh, beside this little fidget toy. I don't know what that ball is. Like, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, somebody, somebody like. Please tell us in the comments. Absolutely. <laughs> While you're in the comments, tell us what you carry today. We want to hear about it. Uh, tell us a cool story too. And a joke. I, you know, I've. This will post on a day, uh, one of my highest stress days that I have at work, and uh, I'm going to need some jokes. So, like, tell me some funny jokes in the comments. Um, beautiful, blue, aluminum. Nice grips. Nice action. Magna cut blade. Just don't know what else you'd want, you know? And it's 4.6 ounces, so, like, it's pretty light for the size. We remembered all this stuff because we did it in the first video <laughs> that, that didn't record, but you'll take a word for us. We can save you a little bit of time. Um, or you can take our word. Yeah, there you go. What in the take hell Take our did word I say? for it. What Who knows? I, what did I say? We, we don't pay attention to one, it anyway. One more size comparison, <laughs> and, and we'll call it quits. But this is the uh, Rough Rider Mini Jack. <laughs> and uh let's say to Dave uh, he, he said if I he said you find me one in full titanium and you'll have my attention <laughs> anyway guys you have a great one you got anything else to add to it I'm good we'll, we'll catch you on the flip side